Are you single Pringle? Do you feel like you've been alone for too long? Do you see pictures of weddings or couples and you go, God, when? Is it your desire to be in a relationship where you are loved, cared for and understood? But it seems like it's not forthcoming. Then, this post is for you. There are a number of reasons why God will want you to remain single for a time. Each reason different from the next for different people. It may seem cruel, but don't forget that God is all-knowing. He sees things that we don't. He knows the end from the beginning. So maybe being in a relationship will not be the best thing for you in the meantime. Here are some of the reasons why you are single. 1. You may not be ready for what you desire. 2. It's not yet the appointed time. 3. God wants you to deepen your walk with Him. Ready to explore these reasons? Keep listening. You may not be ready for what you desire. Most of the time, this is one big reason why God may want you to remain single. For some of you, if God decides to send your partner to you now, we will budge everything. This could be because of things like unresolved childhood trauma, inability to heal from the past, character flaws. Being in a committed, godly relationship is something that requires time and work. It is not sustained by feelings as most movies and books will have us believe. Doing love God's way requires sacrifice, selflessness, humility, and patience. Assess yourself. Have you grown to the point of operating in the aforementioned levels? Or do you still desire a relationship majorly because of what you can get from it? Relationships are primarily about giving. So if you're not matured enough to give what you expect to receive first, then maybe take your eyes off a relationship for now and work on developing those traits. The phrase, hurting people hurt people may not be new to you. Truth is, we all need healing, but some people have been cut deeper than others. While not everyone would like to admit that they are hurt and need to heal, the truth is, true healing begins when there is an acceptance of hurt. You can't think of going into a relationship to bleed on someone. When you are hurt, even the one doesn't seem like the one because your lenses may be distorted. You'd pick fights over unnecessary things. You most likely go the it's not you, it's me way. Nobody deserves that. Heal intentionally. You have not completely understood singleness. The truth is, even in marriage, you must still understand what it is to be single, unique and whole. Luke 14 verse 28 to 30 For which of you, desiring to build a tower, does not first sit down and count the cost, whether he has enough to complete it. Otherwise, when he has laid a foundation and is not able to finish, all who see it begin to mock him, saying, This man began to build and was not able to finish. It is not the appointed time. The God who is our Father that we serve is the God of time and seasons. He brings things to pass when the time for them is right. 
This is another possible reason why you were single. It may just be that it is not time for you to meet that person yet. Maybe. Imagine a baby coming into the world at seven months when it is supposed to show up at nine months. It is always stressful on the parents, right? Sometimes the baby may not even survive it. It's the same with us. Doing things before or after the appointed time always leads to stressful situations that could have been avoided. This is why we must be very sensitive in our work with God so that we can hear His voice and follow His leading. Habakkuk 2 verse 3 For the vision is yet for the appointed time. It hastens towards the goal and it will not fail. Though it tarries, wait for it. For it will certainly come, it will not delay. God wants you to deepen your walk with Him. More often than that, we tend to focus on what God can give us or do for us rather than focusing on Him as our reward. God may be keeping you single because He wants to share something more profound with you and take you to deeper levels with Him. Can't I do this and still have a relationship, you may ask? Well, the answer is that you may not be successful with that. Being in love and making the decision to remain committed to someone has a way of telling on your relationship with God if it was not already in place. This is because pleasing that person and making them happy will become your primary focus and this can put God on the back burner. God wants you to want Him for Himself and not for what He can give. The Bible says in Isaiah 54 verse 5, For your Maker is your husband. The God of hosts is his name, and the Holy One of Israel is your Redeemer. The God of the whole earth is he called. Did you see that? God himself is your husband, so your relationship with him should take preeminence before any other. Wouldn't it be better to have God? When you have him, you have all your needs. Think about it. Your desire needs to align with God's. Sometimes we are yet to drop our desires and motivations at the feet of the Master. We are still very carnal in our decision making process. This doesn't mean you shouldn't desire the good things your human eyes see. But if the only way you can see is with your human eyes, you may want to exercise a bit of patience. The husky voice may not always be there. The curves will not last forever. The person you are physically drawn to may not be your partner in destiny. Bear in mind, many times, what you are attracted to physically is not what will keep you in a relationship. You'd always see people with better physical attributes. If your ideal partner list is still 100% carnal, you might understand the need to breathe and take a pause. As marriage is a spiritual union and the major reason for having a relationship. So there you have it. Three reasons why God may want you to remain single. Which one can you relate to? Do you think you need to prepare more for your desire? Do you think the time isn't ripe? Or do you need to dip in your walk with God? Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for engaging.